Hello fourth graders. Today what we're going to do is we're going to try a new strategy for solving word problems. Often when we see a word problem, it can be very overwhelming. So this strategy, cubes, is going to help us break it down. So stay tuned. Okay, so cubes is actually an acronym. It stands for C, circle the key numbers, U, underline the question, B, box the math action words, E, evaluate the steps you need to take, and then S, solve and check. So are we ready to try it out? All right, so here's our first question. We're gonna try to use the cube strategy with this question. A cineplex has four movie theaters. Each movie theater can hold 318 people. How many people can the cineplex hold in all? First, we need to circle the key numbers. We know that the cineplex has four movie theaters, so we're gonna circle the number four and each movie theater can hold 318 people, so we're gonna circle that number as well. Next, we're gonna underline the question. We can always look towards the question mark because we know that definitely is asking us a question. So right there it says, how many people can the Cineplex hold in all? Next step, B, box math words. So the math word in here, the math action word, is in all. So we put a box around it because that's telling us we need to find a total. E for evaluate means we need to figure out what steps do we need to do to solve this problem. Well, we know that if there are four movie theaters and 318 people in each, we can multiply these numbers in order to get the total or we can use repeated addition and do 318 three more times. Okay, so we're gonna solve this problem. And using all of what we already have from our cube strategy, we knew we had to use multiplication. So 318 times four. I use the distributed property to solve this problem. 300 times four plus 10 times four plus eight times four is going to give us our total. And all together at the very end, we have 1,272 people can fit inside all these theaters. Okay, here's another problem. Michelle has 1,800 beads. She wants to make seven friendship bracelets. Each bracelet needs 246 beads. How many beads will Michelle have after she makes the seven bracelets? We're going to use the cube strategy again, so we're going to start with our C, circle the key numbers. So our first numbers in this problem we have are 1,800, because that's the total number of beads. Next, we know that she needs to make seven bracelets. And last, we know each bracelet needs 246 beads. We already circled the seven for the seven bracelets once, so we're not gonna circle it a second time. The question, the question is asking, how many beads will Michelle have after she makes the seven bracelets? Our math words in this problem are each. The word each tells me that every single bracelet that Michelle makes uses 246 beads. Evaluate. What steps do I need to take? Well, I know that she has a total number of beads, 1,800, and I know that she needs to make seven bracelets and that each bracelet needs 246 beads. So I know I'm going to have to do more than one step in order to figure out this problem. If I look here, I know that I need to figure out the total number of beads that she needs, 7 times 246. Well, if she has 1,800 beads, I need to find the difference between those two numbers. Here we can see I solved the problem. 
I have 7 times 246 equals 1,722 beads. Those are the beads used for the 7 bracelets. Next, I subtracted 1,800 minus 1,722. That's going to tell me how many beads are left because we didn't go over the total. There are 78 beads left over. So this is the cubes strategy for solving word problems. I hope you all learned something and good luck solving word problems.